I wonder if it... Oh, it does chain lightning across multiple vehicles. Sweet. Look at that. Hey, everybody. Antec here. Welcome back to Crossout to the dev server. This is a look at the Dawn Children faction. Some of the new things that are in the game, such as the weapons, the hovers, the wheels, the various structural parts. Now, in the last episode, if you did not see the last episode, definitely go back and watch it because it is a way more in-depth look at all of the different things in game, how they f like the weapons, how they fire, the new hovers, how the new hovers work. We tested various types of like builds with like multiple types of hovers, uh, different types of weaponry, multiple weaponry, like just loaded up with different things. Now, if you remember, a while back we made a triple Vulcan build or like a minigun build where we had. A uh, bunch of coolers on it and a bunch of radiators and I have somewhat replicated that build But with the new dawn children stuff and using the new red ray like really fast firing laser weapons and essentially Four wheels too. This is what you get right here now One thing I noticed is that there is a limited range of how uh, these things uh, how far they can shoot and so you do have to be somewhat close for these things to be rather effective, but Given the fact that you can just amp it up for so long, I mean, you do some serious, serious damage if you let it just fire over time. Now, the, in the last, in the first, like, video that we did, the testing video, uh, one thing that I kind of talked about was, like, maybe they would be better suited as, like, support weapons. Some, like, some of the new weapons work better. See how you can hit it from there? Some of the new weapons are better suited to be support weapons. Well, I think if you do it right, they can be pretty effective by themselves. But I still do hold to the fact that I think most are suited to be used in addition to something else. But overall, it's not too bad. I think that they can deal some serious damage. And uh, you can see some serious results with these things. And, and look at I love the way it makes it look like it's heat overheated. Like it just heats up the whatever part it is. I wonder, there's no way for me to know because I can't, I'm not in a position to know. I wonder what it looks like from your perspective to see your vehicle heating up like that. Anyway, today we're going to be taking this out into some battles. Now more than likely, we will uh, probably only encounter some bots but i'll probably use this for a bit and then i'll switch to a different build and then we can roll out with some hovers or something like that and try out some different things like the tesla cannon i really want to try and battle so let's go ahead and roll this thing out and see what this thing can do all right so before we get into the video i just want to give you this little bit of a disclaimer i am remaking the beginning of the second and third episode i already have them done and the reason why is because when the devs originally sent me the stuff to look at the modules weren't on the account well, they have since sent me those, and so I'm redoing the videos for you guys so you can check out the modules. Now, the rest of the videos, though, are pretty interesting because they have a bunch of different types of builds, different variations of hovers, different things that I've tried with boosters and drones and things like that. And I'm going to show you, before we get into the matches and all the variations that I did, some of the, the, some of the modules. Now... What I have here is very quick build. It's not centered or anything like that. It's got the one of the new cabs on here. It's got the neutrino and the Aegis Prime. And the other thing was called the Doppelganger, but I think that's since been changed. The name of it has been changed. Uh, yeah, they call it the Genesis now. And so what, if you guys aren't familiar, which I think most people have seen the Garage episodes, and if you haven't seen it, go back and watch the Garage episode where they cover the hover vehicles because they show off all these things. And it was really interesting. They told me not to show stats, but then in that video, they were sh that's, the stats were shown. And so uh, I, just keep in mind, though, guys, like I said before, everything's subject to change. So what you see even in that video might not be the case. So anyway, I got a Wildfire, I got the Neutrino, and I got the Aegis Prime. Now, the Aegis Prime, you have to set to a different different key so you, you know you don't activate it at the same time but essentially what it is and it's not centered so it's going to look weird is a shield bubble that stops projectiles so if i want to protect my guns or the front of my vehicle uh, ideally you want to put this in the middle of your vehicle so that you protect everything and mine's just a little off center but listen to this cab doesn't that sound cool i love the sound of them a lot of people were saying that they don't like like kind of the advanced uh tech feel and they said they lose the mad max apocalyptic feel of things but honestly i don't really i don't mind that so the other thing is the neutrino now if you guys don't know what the neutrino does it is a two time scope but when you zoom in when you scope in what you're looking at is white but what the sorry that was probably a very heavy b 
what the neutrino does allow you to do is see this little orange spot right here? This signifies an explosive item on the build. And in this case, I put an ammo box on here for the wildfire. And so if we shoot at that, which I'm going to shoot a little low. I didn't get it. Blew off the component. The components. Let me shoot again. You you can hit that and you know exactly where to aim for like explosive damage. And it didn't really seem to do as much damage as I thought I was going to do. But uh, it was pretty effective nonetheless. So what I thought I would do is do another clip. And you'll see a build that is... I don't know if it's in this... It's probably in this video or the next video. But I have a bunch of builds that I've made. And I don't want to really show you because I want to surprise you with some of the builds that I made. But uh, I'm going to show you a build that's going to feature the Genesis. All right, so this build that you're going to see here is a hover drone build. And I think you'll see it later in this video. If not, surprise, <laughs> there's, a, there's a hover drone build coming tomorrow, but I think it's in this video. So uh, what this build has is actually uh, two, two of the attack drones and two sidekicks. Now, it also has the Genesis now, which it is interesting to note that if when this blows up, it does explosive damage and radiates. So I'm not going to tell you what the stats are. Maybe it's in the garage already, but essentially it blows up. The range is really limited, but it does do damage, and it's somewhat significant. Now, I don't know if you can have more than one of these, though, and I think you might be able to. I think it might be able to be stacked, and here's why. It doesn't take any energy, uh, right now at least. And it's a relatively, it's like 275 power score, something like that. And that's probably where it'll be. So it's a little bit higher. Uh, but originally, I thought that this increased the drone by double. But I think it does 25%. So you only get one additional drone, which is not nearly as burdensome as I thought it might be. But even then, five is still pretty, uh, pretty crazy. Now, I do want to see if I can get a drone to shoot off the back of that thing there we oh it didn't explode it dang it it didn't explode it it just shot it off so anyway uh that is the genesis and uh it's not as great as i thought it was going to be in terms of like what it actually does uh but i kind of do like the fact that it's nerfed a little bit simply because that doubling might have been a little too much you know what i mean all right, so anyway, that's it. That's what I have. I uh, don't have that other cab. I don't know where that is, uh, but uh, you can see it in the garage episode if you want to check it out on their crossout. I, I recommend subscribing to their crossout page because they uh, give a lot of regular updates uh, on their channel. So anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the rest of the video, and you guys can see all the stuff that I've worked, I've worked up. Well, unfortunately, still nobody... Uh, playing on the server. I'm still like this is the same day. I'm recording all this at the same time So if you're wondering why now if you'll notice Some of the graphics look way different There has been a serious upgrade to the graphics and the different things that are put around the map This is Founders Canyon. Look at the difference of Founders Canyon. It looks really sweet so in in addition to the names and stuff being different and like standing out more just the the fact that the game itself looks way better like graphical improvements all over the place and so let's let's see what this thing can do now that we've got this we've got all these radiators on here and we are playing bots so bots are obviously pretty dumb but uh we just light these guys up man i don't want to overheat we're gonna let it cool down i don't want to overheat yeah, see, I I mean, these things are pretty good. I think they'll be good at shaving off parts, but like I said in the last one, um, I was shooting at specific things, and they were taking ages to blow them off. I mean, look at this. There we go. The fat man's finally gone. I just don't know how effective these little lasers are going to be. I think they're fairly good, but I think that... Uh, they have to be used in conjunction with something. They're not good by themselves. I mean, look at how long it took me to destroy the cab, that cab on that bot. Now, albeit that was a, a heavier bot, but... Um, oh, man, we might want to just do some X... Wow! Look at the difference of Founders Canyon. It's a massive map. I might just do uh, some... I might make a really fast build and do some map testing at the end of the video look at this it's in it's incredibly different oh my goodness they have improved the game dramatically dramatically 
I hope that the cap situation isn't as crazy, but look at how big this map is now. This is a... S good job, devs. This is a serious, serious improvement from Founders Canyon. Founders Canyon was is one of the maps that was like... This map just doesn't feel very genuine. It feels like it's forced, you know? And both of the most recent iterations have both kind of felt that way. And so this, though, is just insanely different and way better. And the graphic quality is just awesome. So, um, yeah, so let's... I think that is a good test of this build. It took me forever to build this thing. But I think um, just with... What it is, I mean, these guns just don't do enough damage. Now, like I said in the last episode, if you get, didn't hear, everything is subject to change, okay? This is a this is a work-in-progress development build. Everything's subject to change, um, and that's why there's certain parts and certain weapons and stats I'm not going to show because those things can be changed, and then obviously there are a bunch of modules missing, and so things will change uh, as time goes on, so just keep that in mind. All right, so I'm going to... I'm going to tweak some things. I might just make a new build and then we'll roll out into hopefully another map and check out and see if any other maps look different. I didn't notice bridge in the last one. So um, I'm hoping that maybe some of the new, maybe there's, I don't know, maybe there's new maps and uh, maybe some of the other maps have had significant changes. All right. So I built a very fast Tesla craft dual Tesla cannons. And uh, this thing is pretty well equipped in terms of that but I primarily as I said want to uh, test out some of the maps and just see what they have to offer now one of the Teslas in the front obviously can't shoot the entire time because of where it's at but I yeah I, one thing I oh did that just chain lightning does it actually chain lightning okay there's two wonder if you if you hold it down does it chain lightning or maybe if you target a specific type of part I don't know, it kind of looks like it times it chain lightnings, doesn't it? You can't control it. You really can't. It's, so now it's targeting the cab, given the fact the cabs have been exposed. Let's go over here and see. It'll target all the other components again. That's pretty cool. I like the way that this works. I really do. I think it's a I think it's a pretty good weapon. I just wonder how effective it's gonna be, you know? Some of these weapons seem like the damage is off slightly. Maybe the damage will improve. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and take this out and see uh, if we can look at another at another map and see if anything else has been changed as well as use this in combat. All right, still nobody playing, but we're on Founders Canyon again. So now we're gonna really do some uh, some testing here. I love. I mean, look at the graphics. Everything is so nice. I don't know. It's just like a big. It's a huge improvement in my opinion. Okay, so this is kind of the outskirts over here. Yeah, there's just so many different routes to take, so many different paths. This map has been substantially improved. And the, these wheels seem pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Oh, look at this sniping point right here. Looks like there might be... No, that's probably not one. George! I wonder if it... Oh, it does chain lightning across multiple vehicles! Sweet! Look at that! Oh! I, I, I d didn't know if it would actually work that way. That's really cool to see. Chain lightnings across multiple things. Oh, crap. I'm going to die. I'm trying not to die here. Uh oh. I'm going to die again. I just want to look at the rest of the map. Okay, so this area looks somewhat similar to what it was before. Oh, crap. I can't drive because I'm missing parts and stuff. Yeah, this area kind I mean, there's some similarities. But I love, like, the trees and stuff around the outskirts. Like, that's really cool. Yeah, this kind of looks the same. I would love to do map development. That would be really fun. I think so, at least. My team's, like, dead. Yeah, that chain lightning was awesome. Some, like, tiki torches glowing right there. Sweet, man. Yeah, this thing got destroyed by the bots. These parts definitely get shaved off pretty easily. It's not... I mean, it's not... Uh... What the heck? How did I die? So if you thought drones were bad before, <laughs> what about now being deployed from flying vehicles? So uh, this is the build I just built. It's got four of the hovers, two of the flying drones, and uh, two sidekicks. Now, 
I don't know if there'll be any surprises for drones, but uh, all I know is that I really, really like the new text. It's so much easier to see, as well as the names. This is actually a little bit more easy to control with uh, two being in the front and two being in the back, but then again, it is, you know, having to worry about it in tight corridors. I don't know how it's going to do. I do like the Q&E, though, on the hovers. That's really cool. That's that's actually really fun to do. So I'm going to take this out and see if we can actually find somebody to play against. Uh, and hopefully it won't be bounced. And then we'll probably switch back to that other build and do a little bit of scouting around and see if we find any uh, new maps or changes to maps or something. So let's go ahead and load into it. Nope, still bots, but uh, maybe this map is different. Let's see. Doesn't Doesn't appear to be. This thing's actually really cool looking. It's got a really awesome look to it, I think. I And on Desert Valley, it's even more enjoyable to look at because Desert Valley's kind of rugged and run down like that, you know? Look at this beast. Oh, yeah. I kind of had like the, uh, those are called the radiator corn. They're called just like radiators and they're like corners. And you can kind of piece them together to do some really cool things. I feel like there should be more, there needs to be more structural parts. It doesn't seem like there's enough. You know what? Maneuvering these boosters is not the easiest thing in the world. It's actually quite difficult. But then again, uh, like I said in the last one, maybe I'm just not used to it yet. But I do. one thing I do like is that you can just like go up and over people. But the fact that drones will be higher up in the air now is definitely a major concern. <laughs> I think will be a major concern for most people. Although you can easily shoot them down. I, I just like the fact that you can go up and over people and things now with these boost these hovers you gotta have a lot of power to do it though you can't just like be at a dead stop and do it like i mean look at that just fly up and over something and get the heck out of dodge it's not like these can climb walls or anything but it is really cool to see it i'm just kind of testing this here i want to test it around that corner and see if i around that uh yeah so we can't just run up over that like that shoot man i really was hoping that the hovers would be you could get up and over things. Oh, <laughs> the jumps. Crap. Crap. Get them. Get them. Yeah, I think that... I think the uh, drones are going to be even more deadly. Look at that jump. Wow, we really went flying there. That was sweet. So, they're definitely hard to maneuver, the, the, the hovers. But they're not bad by any means. It, I think it'll just take some getting used to. And I wonder if we do like... Let's see. If we do like a side to side and then we do like a... Q and E or something. You can kind of slow down your descent and do different things depending on how well you can actually maneuver these things. It's not bad by any means. It's just going to take some getting used to, that's for sure. Alright, so uh, let's hop back into that other wheeled vehicle and see if we can... Oh, you know what I want to do actually before we do that? Uh, let me save this because I want to save I want to save this build and have this build. Alright, let's see what happens. I'm curious. Yeah, baby. Not really anything, but it's it is definitely cool to be able to have you can strap boosters on this, and you can make like a real spaceship, man. Real spaceship. Let's. I want to try it again. Let's let's check it out. Oh, let's take it off a jump. Sorry, guys. I'm doing lots of testing just because it's it's just really enjoyable to be able to try these out. Oh yeah, we haven't gone over water yet. <gasps> oh, I wish we could get on uh, what's that map with the acid pool? We need to we need to go on that map. I might I might just do a couple matches until I get on that map. Oh, oh the jumps the jumps. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak I'm gonna tweak I'm gonna put this back to how it was and then I'm gonna try to get that map. All right, after waiting forever, I finally got factory. <laughs> I just want to see if I can go over the acid. I think I probably should be able to, obviously, but I just wonder what it's like to dance in the middle of the acid pit. Oh, baby! Have you ever been here before? The acid pit. Where no one else can get you. Literally. <laughs> Ashley! <laughs> oh, what a stupid bot. He's trying to come get me. That's hilarious. So here we are. In the acid pit. This is a screen-worthy moment, guys. Oh, yes. Here we are. Oh, it kind of looks like a cat, doesn't it? In the acid pit. Floating around. That's pretty cool. So there you go. We got acid pit action going on with the hover boosters. Yeah. 
Let's get out of here. All right. So uh, that that's literally all I wanted to do was just uh, sit over the acid pit and uh, see if I could actually do it, which you can. And you could do totally dupe bots and they're coming after you like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> there was one thing that I wanted to try. At, so I'm going to spawn in a bot, spawn in some bots, and I'm going to try to drive over them and see if it kills them from... from uh, <laughs> it's got to, right? It has to kill them. Oh crap, we flew too high. It's not gonna be easy though, that's for sure. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, it does work! Sweet! <laughs> that's a new trolley thing. That is a definitely a new trolley way to kill somebody. Alright, Old Town. Let's see if Old Town's any different. Probably not. It looks the same. I got a synthesis on there now. I don't know what I call this thing. The plasma emitter I don't know what's I sometimes I can't say synthesis right and it comes out all weird and so I need a different name for it I'm just call it the uh, plasma emitter even though they're all kind of plasma emitters there's two of them I should say laser plasma emitter and uh, oh baby got him and I've got that uh, what's that thing called the, the freaking Tesla cannon in there still Yum. I like this combo. It's kind of nice. Woo, doggy. That's good. Target that gun. Cricket launcher. I love that freaking test. That action is sweet. Dual shot in the wheels. Um, crap. <laughs> um, crap. I just got wrecked in there with that blast from that cricket. Here's one left. Get the guns. I love the way that the, uh, they, it kind of makes like a smoke cloud when it hits. That's really cool. All right, guys. Well, I'll be back tomorrow with more dev, uh, action, trying to test out some more stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy this. Let me know what you think of the different weapons. Let me know what your favorite weapon is that you, th you know, what, whatever you saw so far. And, uh, yeah. See you guys tomorrow.